Hey, uh, someone's auditioning for my job. What? Yeah, some kids in a tape to say dramatic music. That's Ezra! Yeah, he's a friend of the show. He's not going to take your job. Sure, sure. But he says dramatic music. So what? So, so I'm the one who says dramatic music. I was just going to have him do it this week. He's not taking your job. Oh, yeah? Well, what are his qualifications, hmm? He can do 50 push-ups. What? I can, I can do 50 push-ups. No. And he can do taekwondo. I can, I can also, I can do A taekwondo. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I could probably still do 50 push-ups, though. Welcome to the Deep Dare Shop! Dramatic music! Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, the Pepperoni Jabroni, and welcome back to the Deep Dish. This week, we're doing Open Nature Gluten-Free Cauliflower Crust Pizza. You probably saw in the cold open our friend of the show, Ezra, from oh, Boston. I can do more push-ups than Ezra. I... Oh, I can do 50 push-ups. One. All right, well, I guess Two. Reggie is going to do 50 push-ups. I don't think... Is that a good idea? Okay, well, I guess we'll see. I guess that's in the spirit of the fact that this week's pizza is ideally really, really healthy. So we're gonna see how that all works out. Oh, I'm coming for you, Ezra. Dude, he's a kid. All right, let's jump into the categories. Presentation. Nothing is coming off this thing. Check this out. I'll pick that up in a second. But nothing came off of it. Looks like there's a little bit of dirt and dust from hitting the floor. So we're gonna dock a little bit. We'll give it an 8.5 for presentation. All right, for crust, as you can see, it's pretty thin. Like I can barely finger this thing, right? Check that out. It's like a solid half a finger. I don't know. Gonna give it a I just don't get it. You got this. You got this. Heck, you even got this. You could use these in interchanging fashion. You've got this. You seem particularly allergic to this. You've even got this. Watch this one. See, it's not that hard. Mm. Still gets a three. This week, after making the pizza, we didn't waste any time. It's so fresh. How fresh is it? It's so fresh that... All right, well, it smells like a pizza. Hey, hey. Nope, 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 absolutely not. Uh, absolutely not. You done? Now, these are pretty little, this pizza's pretty little, so we're actually gonna do two pieces today. Since it's healthy and since we're getting all of our cauliflower in one spot, why not just put two in here? All right, here we go. I wouldn't know this was a cauliflower crust. This is a great way for me to get a lot of cauliflower into me. The one downside about this flavor, it actually tastes a lot like regular pizza, which makes me wonder um, how much sodium or sugar or anything like that is in there. 
says here he's got about 1,800 milligrams of sodium. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Uh-uh. No, sir. Big flavor. Not sure this cauliflower is so, like, healthy. We're gonna give this Tom Cruise from Mission Impossible. I'm actually pretty surprised to say this too, but the mouthfeel is better than regular pizza. There's something about the cauliflower that's really wonderful. Great mouthfeel. Tastes like pizza, feels like pizza. In some ways, better than real pizza. Incredibly processed, probably not that great for me. So for mouthfeel, I'm gonna give it Zartan, Master of Disguise from G.I. Joe. Are you so- oh, I'm coming for you, Ezra. You know he's like 10. He's a 10 year old boy who just likes the show. 22. Oh, well, there you go. Male insecurity strikes again. This could be served at Pizza Hut. It's got all the oil, all the salt. I'm sure all the cholesterol of a Pizza Hut pizza. Perfect 10. I could finish like three of these and be so happy. And they would kill me. So for finish, I'm gonna give this surprise high blood pressure. Of course I would eat this if I was high. That's the danger here. I'd probably eat four of them. I would die and there's so much salt in there that when they found my body, I'd be perfectly preserved. Whew. But yeah, I would totally do it. All right, and that brings us to our final score, which is, yeah, an 8.9. Overall, this was actually a really good pizza, and as long as you can stand the sodium, I actually highly recommend it. Definitely not a, that's right, a defibrillator, because that, not even a number. It doesn't even make any sense. All right, and that's the show. Now, I might not have finished all 50 push-ups, but I'm still coming for you, Ezra. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit like. And if you like all the videos, subscribe, right? Sign up for notifications so you know when a new video is coming out. But as always, leave a comment. That's what we want, more engagement. If you want to help out me or Lewis or even Pep over here, you can always go to patreon.com slash the deep dish review and you can help support the channel. There's even a membership level where you can tell Pep what kind of pizza to eat. And as always, if you don't have a comment to leave, you can always leave a comment on the unpopular opinion, which is... Phantom Menace is the best Star Wars movie! Oh, where do you come up with these? Management? I'm not sure management really agrees. Ugh, I don't know. I guess that's why they call it unpopular opinions. This is the deep dish, and remember, it's okay to like things. Goodbye from the deep dish. See you later from the deep dish. Oh, you like this job.